The back rooms is a disturbing place. Pretty much everybody knows that already. But I think the level in today's video might be the most disturbing, graphic, lonely, and liminal level that I've ever gone over, all rolled into one. From strange biological mouths in the ground, to human-shaped centipedes, to a misty crimson red forest, this is the explanation of Backrooms Level 65 and the horrors that lie within. I'm gonna split this video into three parts, the intro log, the level description, and then the entrance and exits. You can find the timestamps in the description if you wanna skip around to a certain part, but without further ado, let's get into the explanation, shall we? So first up, the document starts with an exploration log that was found on this level. The log is between two explorers and the two people are wandering through the woods of the level when they come across an apple tree. But the apple tree just looks off to them. It's bigger than apples from real life and it's leaking some kind of strange juice. Thinking nothing is wrong, one wanderer just bites into the apple and after that, they knew that they did the wrong thing. The apple tastes off, and it starts leaking that weird substance. The wanderer then starts to convulse and to purge repeatedly. She falls down and her skin starts to split apart, and her bones start to shift and multiply into multiple legs and arms. Her face starts to morph and distort, and she grows pincers and legs. The other wanderer that she was with watches in horror at what's happening to their friend, and freaks out because their friend just turned into some kind of human centipede creature. So he drops his apple, runs away as fast as possible, and he's almost in the clearing until he trips. And you can guess what the centipede does next. So yeah, that was the intro log. What a great way to start off the level. You know, I definitely wanna go there now. It seems really safe. Now it's time for the level description. Level 65 of the back rooms is the 66th level. And it's been classified as a class four difficulty, being very unsafe, very unsecure, with a medium dangerous entity count. The level itself has been split into five specific parts. The main area, the apple trees, the mouths, the centipedes, and the stump. So first I'm gonna explain the main area so you can kind of get a sense of what we're dealing with. Level 65 is a constantly foggy and misty forest that has a bunch of different types of trees scattered throughout it. The trees seem to all be a reddish color and their leaves are also dark red. Across this forest landscape, a thick, humid fog stagnates through the level, which makes it really hard to see out in front of you or really hard to see above you. There's no other weather besides a cool breeze that blows through the forest which keeps the temperature at a nice, chill, fall-like temperature. The trees inside this level are not regular trees uh, because they seem to be carnivorous, as in they literally eat meat. What kind of meat do they eat, you might ask? Well, it's specifically the meat of individuals who don't make it out of the level. Their corpses being absorbed into the ground by the tree's roots. So far, we have giant centipedes, weird poisonous apples, and carnivorous trees. Nice. Speaking of the ground though, it's littered with red leaves and those oversized centipedes, some of which have been measured to be over six feet long, which is totally not horrific. No, it's totally fine. Anyways, that's the main part of the level, a red colored misty forest with cannibal trees. Now I'm gonna talk about the apple tree section. So the blood apple trees on this level manifest themselves evenly in evenly spaced rows. Each row is approximately 15 feet apart from the other row. And from the outside perspective, they just look like an apple orchard with red trees and apples. Nothing too crazy. But it's when you start looking at the actual apples that you notice something is off. The apples on the trees are very anomalous, and, and like I said, they seem to leak this red, vicious liquid. The liquid is very similar to stuff that comes out of our veins, but it's thought to be from animals. But just know that you should never eat any apples that you find on this level. Don't touch or bite or lick the apples because what well, you saw in the log, what would happen? You'll start to turn sick and you'll start convulsing and you'll eventually crack yourself into a centipede shape and then you'll be a person, but you'll also be a centipede. 
pretty scary to think about, to be honest. But once a person eats an apple or touches an apple and starts to purge and throw up, that's when they're completely lost and they can't be saved, no matter how hard you try. Not even almond water could save them there. The next part of the level is the mouths. Yes, the mouths. These are really rare areas in the ground of the level that look like large, fleshy pits. They're around nine feet in diameter, and they're an unknown depth, and they take the appearance of a circle, and it looks like a mouth. From far off, the openings just look like cave openings, but when you get closer, you'll notice that the mouths are covered in a flesh-like material, and sometimes you can see bits of matter swirling down their esophaguses, or esophagi, if you want to be fancy. Now, it's obvious that you shouldn't go near these mouths unless you want to fall in and never be seen again. The origin and the purpose of these fleshy pits are unknown, but there are some theories that have emerged that could explain them. One theory is that the level feeds directly through these mouths, and just like the trees that feed from the ground here, they soak in human bodies into themselves uh, to somehow fuel the level. Others think that the level is some sort of giant super creature, and the mouths are just openings to its insides. Either way, it is pretty disgusting to see a biological mouth in the ground, in the woods. That is pretty terrifying. Some other weird things have happened surrounding the mouths as well. A common occurrence is to hear screaming coming from inside the mouths. Now, the screaming is either disembodied, or it could be from somebody who fell in, we don't know, but hearing echoing screams through flesh mouths in the middle of the woods is definitely nightmare fuel. So moving on past the mouths to the next part of the level, which is the centipedes. Now, these can be normal sized, like a few inches long, to, like I said, up to six feet long, and they are very aggressive entities. They'll chase you the second they see you. They're also very quick, and they can climb things, uh, so you're pretty much screwed if one sees you. In a gross twist of fate, some wanderers have actually managed to unalive a centipede in self-defense, and they've noticed that the inside of the centipede, inside of the skin, is a full human skeleton in the shape of a centipede that's been morphed into that shape, which is absolutely disgusting. But I guess it makes sense because it happens when you eat the apple and that red juice inside of it. Again, it is unknown how this happens, why it happens, or the biological process into how the humans transition into centipedes and how the bones crack to take the shape. We just don't know. All we know is that it's extremely dangerous to encounter these creatures. The last part of the level is known as the stump which in and of itself is a very deep area inside the level. It looks like a cleanly cut black stump that has a bunch of anomalies that surround it. For example, when you get close to said stump, you'll experience sensory issues and things will start to look distorted and broken. You'll be really disoriented and you'll start to panic. After this, you'll begin to hear auditory hallucinations and see visual hallucinations pop in and out of your peripheral vision. And of course, literally, no one knows why this happens, but some people have even reported seeing silhouettes of dark human figures crawl out of the ground near the stump when the hallucinations start. Again, it's not known if it's a hallucination or if there are actual shadow creatures there. But when these hallucinations start, everything around you begins to turn a deep crimson red. The trees become black silhouettes, and everything becomes this derealization effect of this red horror. So if you encounter the stump, the best thing you can do is to instantly run the opposite way so you don't get trapped in its circumference of hallucinations. The stump itself seems to call wanderers to it and kind of lure them its way, which is why it's really hard to escape once you're there. Because of these attributes, this has led people to believe that the stump is sentient somehow, or maybe the core of the level. Other than a few theories, no one knows why the stump does this, or how it does this. It's just one of those things in the back rooms that we'll never understand. To enter this level, you can walk through a pair of wooden gates on any outdoor backrooms level. 
and to exit you have to do the same thing and you have to find a wooden gate tucked away deep into the level just make sure it's not near a tree or a mouth or a stump or a centipede actually just make sure it's not near anything because you probably want to make it out alive right this level was actually really good and it's actually one of my favorites in a long time you know the dark liminality of the woods mixed with the horror of the centipedes and the mouths and the apples mixed with the psychological aspects of the stump it makes this entire thing really good Seriously, this is a great level. Go check it out if you're interested. It gets the Brugley stamp of approval, for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links below to my socials if you want to follow me for updates. Also, turn on notifications because I do stream here on Brugley once a week, and I play games on Roblox with chat. It's really fun. I have a great time. You should tune in if you want to. And notifications are the best way to see when I go live. Anyways, thank you for all you do. I will see you in the next video. Love and peace.